Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today when I turned on my Ender 3 Pro, I noticed this meaningless thing on the screen. Normally it should be written Ender 3 Pro here, but as you can see, there are some signs that are under ununderstandable. So I'm going to show you how I fix this and then put my logo at the same place. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you how I fix this issue and put my logo at the same place. For this you will need Visual Studio Code, you will need Xloader or Cura or any software that can upload the X file to the printer. You will need the Marlin firmware under configuration files. You will need the Marlin bitmap converter. You also need the uh, paint or any image software that can help you resize the, the picture. So if I, the first thing I do is to download the Marlin firmware and the configuration file, then I extract them. Now I go in the configuration folder, in config, examples, I look for Curiality, and then in the 3 Pro. Now here you have the different tab. Here you have the SKR Mini 3, uh, 3, E3 1.0, 1.2, 2.0. You have Creality V1. This is the 1.1.4 board. Here you have 422 board and here you have 427 board. I'm going to do Creality V1 because I have the 1.1.4 board on my printer. So when I open the folder, I copy all these files, board screen, status screen, configuration, configuration, ADV. I copy, I select copy, I come back to my Marlin folder, I go into Marlin, Marlin again, and here I click on paste, paste and I replace the existing file. Now that I have done that, now I open Visual Studio Code, then I click on the platform I.O. here, and then I click on Open. After I click on Open Project, I navigate to my folder, I browse my computer to find my folder. Okay, here is my folder. I open the Marlin folder here. I do not go for it, I just uh, click on Marlin by fix to open the folder then I open the folder in which I can see platform io.ini and I click on open now I click on the explorer here I open Marlin I have my folder Marlin by fix 2.0.x and I open it and then I navigate to I, I click on the file underscore status dot h. I click on it to open it. And here I have uh, the bitmap code for for my picture. Now I open my my logo with paint. Here it is my logo. I open it with paint open with point then I click on resize and I choose pixel here pixel and I choose for horizontal size I put 32 pixel and for vertical I put 16 and I click on OK then I can close my and save my picture 
Now, I open the Marlin Bibmat converter. You have the link in the in the description. I click here on this button to choose the file for my logo. I browse my computer to find my logo. Here it is my logo. I click on it and I click open. Now I can make the necessary changes here. I can use Marlin 1.x or Marlin 2.x, light, invert, binary, etc. So here once you upload the picture, the logo you have an overview here at this position. If I check click here, you see the changes, light, invert. I can invert, binary, Now, when I click binary, I have the code here. Now, next thing, I right click on the window containing the code here. Then I right click my mouse and I click on copy. Then I open my text editor. I personally use Notepad++. I paste my code and then I select the binary code inside the curly brackets here. You have the curly brackets here after constant and sign char b map extra. You have the curly brackets first, beginning, and end. And I choose the the binary code here without the curly brackets. Then I copy as I click Control C or I right click on my uh, mouse and I select copy. Then I return to Visual Studio Code. And I replace this code here. I have my code here. I can select it and delete. Then I paste my new my new code. Now after pasting the code here on line define status logo width I replace the 39 by by 32. After doing that I save my my file either I click Ctrl S or file save. Now I click on the Marlin icon here, show ABM panel, and here I have mildly optimized. I click on build, the build button in front of mildly optimized. And now Visual Studio Code is going to build my firmware. build successful as you can see I have this green warning one succeed it mean that uh, my firmware is successfully built now I click on the Explorer icon here I click on dot PIO I go to build here then Melzi optimize I have Melzi optimize I click on and here I have my firmware dot ehex.x file I right click on it and I click on reveal in file explorer and here is my firmware now I can select it and pay, copy I copy it I go to my uh, desktop and I paste it in my desktop Now I can open Xloader or Cura or any software that can upload the exe file. Here I choose Xloader. Before going further, I plug my printer to the computer using my USB cable. 
Now here I click on this button to choose the file to locate the file on my computer. Here it is. I select it and I click on open. Then I can choose the COM port. Here it is uh, directly chosen by the computer. It is on COM6. The burn rate here for my printer. The burn rate is uh, one 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 five two zero zero. It, it depends on your printer. You can check your your printer's burn rate. Now I click on upload, and here, as you can see, the message it is uploading. Here it is written the number of bytes that are uploaded. It means that my upload is successful. And now let's go and check on the printer. Okay, here it is. As you can see, now I have my logo at this position on my index report. Okay, thank you for watching. And do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel and activate the, the notification bell for further videos. Thank you very much.